Hey guys, Troy at Mountain Man Treasure. I am a part-time reseller. Um, pick up things at garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, and flip them largely on eBay. And uh, stopped in at Goodwill today and picked up a few things. Um, we haven't been doing a lot of what solds lately and we're gonna get back to those. But uh, I wanted to run through another thrift haul it, not as good as the last one. The last one I found some fantastic stuff. This time um, it picked up some different things, uh, mostly because I wanted something different. Um, just something different in the store. Even stuff that I recognize it's going to take a little bit longer to move. For the most part, it's easy to list, easy to ship, and uh, easy to store. So let's take a look at that. And a lot of what I got, mugs. I know a lot of people make a lot of money on mugs. Um, I get them time again, time and again. I actually have some uh, back on the shelf behind me is where I store them, um, and I sell them every now and then. They're very slow movers, but they do sell. We actually came home with one less than I wanted, and it was the one that I wanted most out of all of them. Here's what happened. <music> Okay, how about that intro? That was Emily Conway. Emily, thank you. That was awesome. We actually have two of them, and I'll play the next one on the next video. But uh, Emily is fantastic. She, uh, I, I just sort of uh, cavalierly, randomly threw out a, hey, I like your intros. You should make me one. And she's so awesome. She said, okay. Um, you got to check out her channel. I'm going to put a link down there um, in the description to Emily Conway's videos. Um, Emily was the first person to buy something off of watching one of my videos, which is awesome. And I've been watching her videos. She's really, really good, guys. She is uh, short to the point has some fantastic information for being so new to the reselling game and well she's she's just fun to watch um so get on over there and check it out i am a huge fan and you ought to be too uh if you're subscribed to me and i want you to be subscribed to me we're up to at the time of this recording 243 just did one um yesterday i think or day before on uh, on poshmark that was fantastic she uh very astutely described uh what poshmark would be if it were a real live human being person so yeah go check out emily because she's spot on and uh, like i said she's just a cool chick um you know what let's play the second intro Treasures. Yeah, see, Emily's fun. Um, let's get into what happened today at the Goodwill. Kind of a bummer. I'm going to put up over here uh, what I found. This is, at least at a quick glance at the store, this was the only one of these on all of eBay. So, no sales history. In the last three months, anyway, I didn't look on Terrapeak, but this is the only one that's currently listed. I found one, $1.99. It's in with, I got a lot of mugs today. Um, it, it's in there, one of the top ones, and she went grabbing the mugs to check them out, and she says, would you like me to wrap these all up individually? Um, I, I want to make sure that they make it okay. And I said, you know what, no. You know, they'll, they'll be fine if we just put a few in each bag. I'm taking them home. I'm, I'm not worried about it. So she was going into it thinking, let's be careful with these. Grabbed one, swung it across, hit the counter, and the uh, the handle popped right off. <laughs> Talk about a womp womp. Um, that, you know, it's like a $40 mug I was getting for 2 bucks, And just a beautiful mug. I mean, really, really cool. It was going to complete somebody's set at some point when they broke it and now it just goes in the garbage. So that was such a shame. Uh, uh, that, was a, that was a bummer. Um, but I'm not letting it get me down uh, because I think I got some other stuff. I grant you stuff that's gonna take a little while, but I got some neat stuff. And uh, I, I got a couple, I, I got one really cool thing. We're gonna hold that until the end. But let's show you first off the mugs that did survive. Okay, if you don't know, Starbucks mugs do well. 
Um, some more than others, the market seems to have gone down a little bit. A friend of mine, Jeff, who has taught me a lot about reselling, we went to the same garage sale one day, and we both did really, really well, but he pulled out some Starbucks mugs from Alaska that I missed, sold the two of them combined for like 180 bucks. Um, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have it happen for a nicer, more fantastic person, um, so I'm thrilled that Jeff got it, but I'm just a little bit bummed I missed those. Um, this one, not that. This is a, uh, it's the same idea. This is a Starbucks mug. This is a Wisconsin. It's the, the, from the line, you are here. It'll say you are here on the bottom. So that makes it easy to look up. So Starbucks, you are here mug, and then fill in the blank. This one's Wisconsin. Um, clean as far as I can tell. Well, I mean, it's dirty, but clean in terms of no chips, no cracks, um, no swirl marks. You'll see a lot of marks on the bottom. I actually left a Starbucks mug because you could see somebody really used it. It's got a gray uh, tint on, on the bottom of it. That's from a spoon stirring in there. So keep an eye out for that. Put that in your listing that there's no swirl marks. That's a good thing. People that know what they're looking for um, are, are going to pay attention to that. But this is an okay mug. It was they're, they're pricing up now. Goodwill's caught on to um, Starbucks. So not going to make a ton, but these move fairly well um, for probably 10 or 12 bucks plus shipping. So um, at three bucks, we're, we're not going to make a whole lot, but it, it's, it's going to move. I'm not worried about that. And we're going to make a few bucks. So that's why I picked it up. The other one that I picked up uh, worth a little bit more. This is a uh, this is a Boston mug. It says on the uh, on the inside lip there, and it's um, a relief of the city, and it's raised. It's really really cool. Um, this mug has a really good sell through rate, and it's gonna go for about somewhere between. I'll have to see what the market is right now as far as what is available, but this ought to sell for between. 15 and 20 bucks plus shipping. So this is a nicer pickup and shipping is going to be a little bit more because it it is a hefty mug. So we'll see. There is, uh, it's dirty, but again, there's, there's no swirl marks, no chips or cracks that I can see. So this is a good pickup again. Um, they actually priced this one up at $3.99 because it's a little bit bigger. So they're catching on Starbucks mugs. So I, I paid up for these, but I think both of them are going to move and we'll make a few bucks. Okay, a couple more individuals. Um, first one that I have absolutely no idea what it's worth, if it's worth anything, but I gave it a shot. I paid 99 cents for this guy. This is the Honda Circle of Achievement Award. I don't know what that is. It might be something like a, a, a dealer thing. I'm not positive. Um, and it's actually dated on here. It's Maui, 1996. So I assume it's something that they gave out at like a convention or something. It's just, it's got a cool graphic. It's vintage Honda, vintage Hawaii from 96. You know, like I said, I, I have no idea. It's in good shape. 99 cents, so I took a shot. I got to look. I got to figure. I'm going to put it at like 20 bucks plus shipping, 19.99 or something, and we'll see what happens. I'll probably take any kind of offer on this thing. So I, I, I'm a dollar in. I'll give it a shot. Um, this other one, there actually is one of these listed right now, but I think it's in Canada. And I don't think it's a super valuable mug, but I just liked the look. It's Universal Islands of Adventure, uh, and it's dated 2002. It's got Spider-Man, it's got Popeye, it's got a dragon on there, um, and uh, I think that's a T-Rex. I'm not positive. Um, another one that needs cleaning. It was 99 cents, and... Uh, See, it's just really cool. I, I, I just liked the graphics of the thing. And again, if I struck out, I, I, I struck out by a dollar, right? So not the end of the world. But um, I grabbed this, the, you know, different color inside, yellow and blue. I just thought it was cool. I might keep it eventually if it doesn't sell. But I have a feeling that this is probably a 10 or $12 plus shipping mug. So it's going to hang around a while, but it's cool. So I picked it up. Okay, guys, another mug living the mug life um this is one that i don't have an exact comp on i just have to go on my gut feeling and the logo is one that you should recognize right that's cadillac um a lot of cadillac people out there so this is vintage this is cadillac um there's nothing on the bottom of these so i i don't know but other than the sticker 99 cents i got four of them so i have a set 
um, which is good. It's good to sell vintage mugs. I mean, some of them are good one-offs, but it's cool to have sets. And we have a, a, another couple of sets coming up, I'll show you. But this one, I've got four of these, and they're all in very nice condition. Um, I don't know. I, I think by themselves, they're probably a $10 or $11 plus shipping mug. There are similar, there's a few similar Cadillac mugs on there. It doesn't look like things move super fast, but there's none quite like this. I'm going to guess that this was maybe in a dealership at some point. You know, the free coffee sitting there type of mug. I don't know, but I think it's a dealer mug. I've got four of them. I'm going to put them up, I, I think, 10 or 11 bucks individually. I bet we could get 35 or 40 bucks for the set plus shipping, maybe 35 plus shipping. So... I'll give it a shot. I, I think $34.99 is probably a good price point. So we'll see if we can move these vintage Cadillac mugs. Okay, uh, sticking with the vintage theme, this is, let me set this one down so that we can look just at, I've got two different kinds here. Um, this uh, really cool mug, it's, it's got, I don't know if it's coming across on the video, but you can see the edges on there. It's not an exact round mug. And that's what first drew my attention, plus the graphics. I mean, the graphic is really cool. This is, uh, I, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. I've seen it before. They make figurines. They make different ceramics. Um, Odagiri, Odagiri. Um, let me peel off the sticker. These were $1.99 a piece. Um, there's what it looks like on the bottom. Um, really, really cool look. And these are in good shape. I actually got four of this one. But when I got home, I realized one of them was uh, chipped underneath the handle. So I'm gonna take that one back, um, unfortunately, and I'll get my two bucks back. Actually, they'll put it on a store gift card. Good chance I'm gonna spend that at some point. Um, so I have three of these, which is not ideal. I'd like to have four or more, but um, I, th I think they'll do okay. Uh, if you look, there are some, if you look up Odajiri Japan um, flowers, there are some similar to this. Um, but there's none just like this. So um, I don't know with a set of three instead of four. I'm, I'm looking at maybe 20 bucks, something like that. 20 plus shipping, maybe 22, 23. I'll, I, I have to look at the market, but there is a market for these. Um, this particular one I think is going to be slower because there are a lot of variations of flowers. But the other one that we grabbed, uh, also Odajiri, what, did Jiri? I think that's how you say it. Somebody tell me down below if I'm saying this thing wrong. Ceramics people. I'm not super good at ceramics, mugs, glassware. I don't typically do it, but I, I wanted to look at something different today. Some of what I do, I, I went out not just sourcing today to make money. I went out sourcing today to learn some things. So I'm going to get these. I'm going to get some education. And then the next time I see these things, I know whether they're worth picking up. So that's what today was. But, um, this, I think, is okay. This, I know, is okay. These are the Odajiri. Um, you can see on the bottom. I'll peel this one off again. That didn't come all the way off, so now I'm going to I'm gonna have to scrub these anyway because they are a little dirty. This is Bird of Paradise. And you can actually look that up uh, on eBay. Odajiri, Bird of Paradise. There's not that many. Now, there's variations. Um, I have to look and see. But I think there was like nine listed. And three or four sold, so not bad. But there's not that many when you type in Bird of Paradise. So this one, really cool. It's got that same uh, the same edged thing all around it. And really cool looking flower. They all look like this. And I have six of these. Um, so actually, I have, five, I have five. I lied. I have five of these. So um, it makes a pretty good set. So I'm thinking, I saw a set of four that somebody took a deal on, not this particular uh, design, but the same line. Um, they took a deal off of $29.97, they took a best offer. $29.97 plus shipping for four. Um, and individuals are selling for 10 or 12 bucks when they sell. So I think with the five, we could probably put this up for 30, 35 bucks and uh, have a pretty good shot at selling them. And they're actually pretty light. So I, I grant you, once you pack mugs, they get fairly heavy, but uh, I think these won't be too bad. So we're going to do okay on these. Mugs will sit around, but there's not a ton of these available. So keep an eye out for Odagiri. Odagiri. I don't know. Tell me down there. I got another one. Uh, and this one, I have absolutely no idea. But uh, Dominic, the primetime treasure hunter, has said in his videos before 
when you see vintage wall hangings, people like them, they sell, pick them up. Well, this was 99 cents. It's a former, it's, well, it still is, I guess, not a former, but it's a Hallmark thing, Hallmark cards, but it's dated from 1980. Um, there's a little bit of water wear or uh, water damage on the edges. So I don't know. I, I'm guessing this hung somewhere where it had humidity or something, if it was maybe hanging in a bathroom or I don't know. But the graphics are kind of cool. Um, so I picked it up. I thought it's worth, uh, again, it's worth taking a swing at a dollar. I haven't looked up comps. Zero, I mean, the odds of finding this particular one are probably fairly slim. It's now 40 years old. Um, but I think it's something I could probably put up for 20 bucks and plus shipping. And we'll see what happens. So for a dollar, I gave this a shot. A Wish for Today by Ed Cunningham. And I just loved the guy at the bottom there. Oh, ecstasy. I, that is one happy man. Um, <laughs> so this is, uh, yeah, this is funny. So we're going to put this up. This was a buck. See on the back there. The day of, I don't know, continues... <laughs> Um, I picked up a, uh, this is a pretty large print. I haven't actually measured it out yet. Um, 11 by 14 or something. Um, pretty large print. It's actually signed Jim Meepham, M-E-P-H-A-M. I don't know if anybody knows that name. I don't know if that name's even on there. Um, I gave this a shot because it was tagged red. Um, they actually had it tagged originally at, uh, at $9.99. Red tag day, so everything was a buck today. Um, this is, it, unfortunately, the mat is, uh, like, at the bottom corner. We got a little bit of snarling there. But this is a cool picture. This is an old vintage picture, um, bighorn sheep. I don't know. My guess is that uh, this is somewhere up maybe Glacier National Parkway um, because we're, we're not that far from Glacier. And it, it, it looks like Glacier. So that's what I'm guessing, is this was in Glacier. But this is a fantastic photo. And... Again, I don't know what the comps say. Um, w odds are there are no comps on this specific thing. But uh, I can just leave it in here. It's sealed. The photo is protected. Like I said, the mat is shot. But somebody's going to want to put a different mat on this if they buy it anyway. So, I don't know. We'll see. Is there any value here? What do you guys think? I, I think it's really cool. I would, you know, it's one of those that I'll hang on to if it doesn't sell. Because I think it's it's a cool graphic of a uh, of a young sheep. So, um, I, I, it just speaks Montana to me. So I had to, it's one of those things I had to pick up, I had to save. And I think somebody out there might want this. As far as value, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. So I'll have to look into this one. But I think it's really cool that, I don't know, um, 99 cents. 90, that's upside down. 99 cents. So again, I had to take a shot at this one. This is the... Uh, Korean traditional wedding first night honeymoon is what it's called. It's uh, Ad 2000 Design House, Ken Suk Craft Industry. Um, it's really cool, guys. It's a, it's like a shadow box. There's a few nicks here and there on the frame, but really not too bad. Um, and it's like a, it's raised. Uh, Maybe some cray paper in there in the background, but then I think that's clay. That's, that's all raised up. It's really, really cool. I'm going to put up um, over the top of this, actually. We'll just put it up right here. Um, there's one listed that I saw on a quick look on eBay, and it's priced really high. I don't know why it's priced really high. Um, probably because it's the only thing on eBay. When I have the only thing on eBay of a particular kind, I price it high, too, just to see what happens. So um, I'm going to price it under the guy that priced it high uh, because I'm in this for 99 cents. Now it's pretty heavy, so I will charge shipping on this thing because my guess is it uh, it probably weighs a pound and a half just on its own. It's a pretty heavy duty thing, but I thought it was really cool. And uh, if there's only one out there listed for that much, why not grab it for 99 cents and uh, undercut that price and let it sit and see what happens. So we'll see. But uh, really cool. Okay, something else that's really cool and something else I don't typically pick up. This was a, a day filled with stuff that I don't typically pick up. But for whatever reason, I did today. I don't know. I, I did so well this weekend of being very intentional about finding things that have a fantastic sell-through rate and I knew would sell. 
that all went out the window today. I guess uh, I balanced the scales. Um, this guy, I'm pretty sure this guy will sell eventually. This thing, uh, this thing is large. It, it's a very large plush. Um, I paid $3.99 for this guy, for this gigantic monkey. Um, I can't find anything wrong with him. I, I looked around. There's no loose stitching or anything like that. Um, look at the feet. Come on. This thing is cool. Somebody's going to want this. Um, this is dated. I know I saw a date on here. Yeah, 1985 Graphics uh, International Inc. Made in Korea. So, yeah, from 1985. This thing's pretty old. And to be in this great a condition for being that old, the glass eyes aren't all, or the plastic eyes or whatever, aren't all scratched up. Um, this guy's cool. Somebody wants to bring this guy home, right? Or maybe this guy sticks around and he becomes a mascot. I mean, mountain man lives in the jungle mountains. I don't know. Um, this thing is cool, though. So what's the value on this? Yeah, I don't know either. Um, I'm thinking $30, $35. We'll see. But, um, yeah, I had to get this guy. He's cool. Okay, and last two things. Things that uh, I do pick up and I've been picking up more of lately. Uh, I, I got away from it for a while, but I'm getting back our shoes. These a pair of Adidas. Now they're a small size. They're size six. Um, shot a message over to my buddy Chris uh, Chernock. Chernock's connection. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link down to Chris's th a thing down here too. Um, he's fantastic. That guy knows all there is to know about a lot of different shoes. And uh, he said for a dollar, give it a shot. And that's what I was kind of thinking too. I mean, it is a small size, but they're in really good shape. Um, they're not they're super old, um, but they're older. They came out in 2006. Uh, not sure if that helps or hurts, but they're in really good condition and uh, they've got a cool look to them. So I have to research and see if I can figure out exactly what the, uh, the design is, what the style is, and what the going rate is. But if I had to just guess, I'm going to guess these are $25 shoes. So, um, you know, for a buck, why not? Okay, the coolest thing I got, I think, uh, I, I did get some cool things today, even if it's uh, a whole bunch of things that aren't necessarily going to sell very quickly. Um, these might be the coolest. These are Nikes. I've never seen a pair like this before. Um, and you, I, I'm a mid-90s kid, right? Uh, I'm 41 years old. I grew up 80s and 90s. You, you would have thought that I'd have seen these. I don't know if they didn't last long. I haven't researched much into them. But uh, they have a cool look. This, we're going to put one down because they're both the same. This is actually vented. It's mesh. Can you see how you can, like, you can see through this thing? It's like air conditioning for your feet. Um, that's on both sides. Um, these are Nike aerobics. I don't know. I never saw these before. They're, I think they're a relatively rare shoe. There are some on eBay. Not very many. And people are asking like 80, 100 bucks for some of them, guys. So I don't know. There's not a great sell-through rate. So this might be something that I clean up and take to um, Mercari. I've never sold on Depop or Grailed, but maybe this is the shoe to get me in on that because they have a cool look. I mean, it's the, the white is pretty good. And I think these shoes are from... Probably, the, like I said, the mid-90s, like 1994, 1995, something like that. So these shoes are getting up there in age, and there's no yellowing like you usually see on the old shoes. The bottoms even are super clean. I, I don't know that these were even worn much. I mean, look at the bottom. The graphic even on the bottom is so cool. So I think these have a cool look. Somebody's going to want some retro shoes at some point from Nike, and I'm going to... I, I had to give it a shot. These were $6.99, so paid up a little bit for something that I really have no idea. But when am I ever going to come across of Nike aerobics from 1994, 95, and that in that era, especially in this great a condition? These are fantastic. So I'll let you know uh, if we sell these things or if I venture into. Uh, I know Chris is on uh, Grailed. So I might go back. He's got a great video on what is Grailed. So go and check out uh, Chris's channel because he does talk about Grailed. And uh, watch the video. It's pretty easy to list on there. So I might take a shot and uh, take these over to Grailed and see what happens. Um, 
but that's what we got. Uh, we, we got a bunch of mugs, we got a monkey, and we've got some cool vintage Nike shoes. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. This one, a little bit of a scattershot uh, thrift haul, but uh, some unique items, I think. I, I don't know what we're going to make off of these, but we did really well last weekend, so I felt I had a little bit of leeway. Let's play a little bit. Let's experiment. Let's buy some things and learn about some things. So that's what we did. I hope you learned something when you watch this thing. That's all I got. Hey, guys, I'm back. I'm actually not done yet. That's not all I got because uh, I wanted to let you know something. Coming up on uh, Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be on uh, Dominic's channel over on the Primetime Treasure Hunter. I will, you know what, we've been doing it. So I'll put a link down to Primetime's uh, YouTube channel down below in the description. It's going to be a thrift battle. It's going to be between myself and Andrew from Profit Monsters. Why not? It's a party. We're going to put Andrew's link underneath there, too, because he's got a YouTube channel um, and he's got a fantastic beard. So it's going to be the Battle of the Beards on uh, on Dominic's channel Wednesday night, 9 o'clock Eastern at 7 o'clock my time. Um, the idea is we each, it's a best of five. Uh, Andrew and I are both going to put up some things that we thrifted somewhere and we're going to present them. We're going to teach you about them a little bit, tell you what we paid, what we expect to get out of them based on comps and history and, and that sort of thing. And then you vote and vote who wins that round. And then we go on to the next round. It's a best uh, three out of five. And we'll see who wins the Battle of the Beard. So uh, I'm truly I'm honored to, uh, to be on Dominic's channel. This is his third uh, thrift battle, and uh, it's, it's really cool that he, th uh, that he thought of me. A very young reseller. We're almost a year into this. Even younger YouTube channel. It's like not even two months in. So really, really blessed to be able to be on that show, and Dominic's fantastic. Um, so go check out his channel. Check out Andrew. Check out Emily. Check out Chris. I'm, I'm not recommending folks to you here that, uh, that I don't believe in and that don't have fantastic information. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to put one more down there. It's a bonus link. We're going to put uh, a link to Neutron Bomb down in there. Uh, Newton's, he, he's been helping me a lot lately. I've been pestering him, trying to learn a little bit about Hummels. This is a guy that knows everything there is to know about the Hummel. Um, he is going to refute that. He's going to say that he's just a rookie. That he No, this guy knows a lot of stuff about something that most of us don't know anything about. And he started a series. He's a couple videos in. So go over there, check that out, because you can learn about something that most people are going to walk by and not pick up because they know they don't know about them. And if you can pick up that knowledge, you've got an edge. So go check that out. That link's going down underneath here. And go check out Dominic, the primetime treasure hunter, Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern for the Battle of the Beards. Now, I promise, that's really all I've got. We'll see you guys probably on Wednesday.